and you'll never believe it, but I'll show you how to draw sounds. Here's a challenge for you. Is it possible to draw sounds? For example, what does this sound look like? Ah! Well, that's easy. It's a cartoon sound effect, isn't it? Now, if you draw in someone screaming like that, just spell it out coming from his mouth. So it's arg. That's ah, 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 rrr, rrr, g, huh. And the longer the scream is, the longer you make the cartoon sound effect. But it really comes to life if you add a jagged box around the screen like that. So let's see if that looks right. <coughs> Perfect. And drawing sound effects really adds humour and fun into your cartoons. So okay, let's see if we can draw some sounds. So how about this one? Well, if it's a loud noise, just try to spell it out. So it was bam, b, a, bam, 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 bam. And you could always put an exclamation mark after it to show it's loud. Then just put it in a spiky explosion box like this. Again, just to show it's a loud sound. Okay, check it out. And what about this one? Here's the splatty sound of an ice cream being dropped. Well, to do a splatty sound, just draw a splat. And then, just spell out the sound. So it was splat, splat, so it's sp, sp, splat, 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 splat. There you go. If it's a much softer sound you want to draw, just draw a cloud and then spell it out again. It's poof. And this time I'm going to do fat, fluffy letters. Poof. And that's a soft sound. So, to put some sound effects into your cartoons, try to spell the sound out and add other little effects to make it look loud or quiet, soft or aggressive, and funny. So, okay, how about this one? <coughs> Wait till you see the cartoon. <coughs> yep, Granny has sat on a whoopee cushion. So, okay, let's hear it again. <coughs> so, you've got a sort of... <coughs> it's a... spell it out. <coughs> Whoop, and some R's in there. Like that. And let's add in the rush of wind coming out of the cushion. That helps as well. Look at that. And you don't always have to spell the sound out. Sometimes little tricks will do it for you. Like these two boys howling with laughter. Just putting some lines like that. And some tears in there. Like that. So you've got tears and lines as if they're howling with laughter. <laughs> for musical sound, you just need musical notes. For a whistle, just one note, and put in the wind to show it's been blown. For loud, fast music, lots of wild, rocking notes. Quiet, soft music, just one single note should do it. You can even get some great effects by doing letters in a style to suit the sound. Like this. Or how about a wobbly lettering for erg. Erg. There's your wobbly letters. Erg. Or look at these whoosh lines for these two scarpering. There it goes. Whoosh. Do the lettering far apart. Whoosh. In fact, you can throw all sorts of little doodles in to show chaotic noise. Puffs of wind, stars, little scribble squiggles, 
even lightning zigzags. Look at that. Wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. <laughs> and you know, here's one cartoon sound effect that works every time. Zeds for someone asleep and snoring. I don't know how it works. It just does. Everyone understands what it is. <laughs> Try it yourself. Draw that sound and put some sound effects into your cartoons.